this is probably not unpopular to people listening, but maybe it is. But open source has always been sustainable, and I see no business difference between that and closed source software, personally. Now is the time to drop that mic. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's like my hot take is I don't see a difference between them business wise. And I know a lot of people do. And this is weird. I don't know what there's something weird about open source in people's heads or about like they hear I'm an open source developer and they're like, oh, you're a fan of Richard Stallman and you you don't have proper hygiene and but a but a but like you don't believe in money. And it's like maybe like two of those things are true or maybe one. But like, you know, the point being is that like there's this weird little stereotype of like open source can't make money. And it's this weird thing where most people, and I think most engineers, especially when they're coming from, you know, in my realm of academia into biotech software, they don't understand that there has to be a sales team. That there has to be a person out there selling the software, getting the customers. And as a purveyor of this service, you are the expert. You are the person that like, they're not just paying for your code. They're paying for your expertise that's embodied in the code, that's in your ability to deploy it for them in meaningful and useful ways. So for me, looking at like a, like if you look at MongoDB, obviously, GitLab, and what's the other one that I've already forgotten? You know, Red Hat, obviously, they sell services. They are the experts in these things. They help people deploy it in a way that's scalable and they keep it mostly open source or open core. And the point being there is that they have sales teams. They have people going out, finding customers and doing this, all this other stuff. But I meet a lot of engineers who have the belief of if you build it, they will come. And for consumer level stuff, you know, which is not what biotech is. Biotech is very business to business. I mean, like there are some consumer biotech things as end products. And there are some people that, you know, are consumers as students or people that buy at home kits or things like that. But, you know, it's a very business to business thing where like my code, like being open source, People ask me, aren't you afraid if someone's going to copy your code? It's like, no, like I'm the guy who wrote it. Like, sure, you could use my code, but like, why would you pay someone twice as much to do half as much with it as I would do <laughs> if you can just hire me? And I think that's something that a lot of people don't recognize with open source stuff is that it's a very viable, it has almost no effect on their actual business model. That's what's always been surprising to me. 